My name is Andrea Stafford. I'm one of the pre-K teachers here at Cole Valley Christian School. And I just wanna take a minute to share just some of our program with you. So some of the key pieces of our program is we believe in learning through play and learning through a multi-sensory approach. So you're gonna see that in all sorts of aspects of our day. From the second your child walks in, when they spend the first 45 minutes to an hour of their day in free choice, where they're building relationships with their peers, they're learning how to use their imagination, building relationships with teachers. The other way you're gonna see it is when we come to circle time. So we're gonna use songs and poems and motions. We might say stand up and hop 10 times if we're learning about the number 10. It's really a time to continue to build those relationships and get kids moving. So when we talk about learning in a multi-sensory approach, that means that we're gonna learn by building things, by seeing things, by saying things, by movement. So we have a ton of manipulatives in our classrooms. We have Unifix cubes, Snap cubes, Bears links, you name it, we probably have it. It's such a fun way for kids to bring numbers to life. So when they see that three, they're actually connecting it to what, what does three mean? So this way they're seeing all these different ways to make three. We can use dinosaurs and links and cubes. So it's not just this abstract three. We can also incorporate dice. So if we're working on subitizing, they're gonna look at that and say, oh, that's three dots. I can build the number three to really make those connections in their brains. And then to take it a step further, as kids are ready, we're gonna start patterning with them to really build math and patterning and number sense and that hands-on approach to learning. Now when we talk about our literacy, we have some really fun things there too. One of our programs is Learning Without Tears, and it brings in a variety of tools to help learn how to make letters. So we have Play-Doh, sand trays, uh, magnetic boards, sticks, chalkboards. So they're gonna say how to build a letter while they're building it. So for Big diagonal line down, jump up, big diagonal line down, and then we're gonna say little line across. Then they take their wet sponge, and it's intentional that it's small because again, we're working on that pencil grip. So they take their wet sponge, and we're saying it, so we're doing it, we're seeing it, we're saying it. Once we've used these tools, then we do incorporate paper and crayons to work on writing on paper, so writing our name and letters, but we really want this to be foundational, using our tools to build our pencil grip before we actually start writing on paper. The other great thing we have, it's called Zoophonics, and it's bringing the alphabet to life. So it's not just A, B, C, D. We're putting an animal to each letter and we're putting emotion. For example, Allie Alligator, your child's gonna come home and say, Mom, the letter A says ah, it's Allie Alligator, ah, or Bubba Bear, B, or Katina Cat, K. Really bringing these letters to life. But then we also have our reading recipe. So we don't introduce letters from A to Z. Our first three letters we introduce are N, A, and P. Because once they understand what sounds those letters make, they're able to say, I know that that letter is Ali Alligator and it says ah. And if they have that foundational piece, when they're ready, they're gonna be able to start building words and reading. So when your kid comes to school, one of our responsibilities and our jobs is helping them learn what are the expectations in a classroom. So what does it look like when I come in in the morning to put my things away? How do I get toys out to play? How do I put them away? Uh, what does it mean to be a good friend? How do I ask for things? What does it look like at rug time? One of the ways we do that is through something called self-talk. So from the very beginning, we give them tools to help remember what they need to do. So we're teaching them, here's our steps, and here's a way to remember it. Because they're little and they're learning, and that's part of our job here at Coal Valley is helping them for the rest of their life. Build a love of learning, understand the foundation of school, and say, I wanna come back. I know what this is all about. So when they get into sixth grade, that love of learning, they got that from the very beginning in pre-K. Now, one of the last pieces I wanna to touch on is the relational piece. 
which is one of the biggest pieces we're here for, right? Is building relationships with students and having students build relationships with each other. So one of the programs we use to help guide this is called Second Step, and it's our social and emotional curriculum. But it's not just a curriculum because it's infused in our entire day. We're gonna talk about feelings. How are you feeling? How does that feeling make, like, is it a comfortable feeling? Is it an uncomfortable feeling? What does your friend's face say? How can I invite myself to play or invite a friend to play with me? And if we make a mistake, how do I fix my mistake? And how do I get help to fix that mistake? We also have a Bible curriculum, but it's not just a curriculum. We use Think Orange, but we infuse God's word into every part of our day through showing kindness and love to each other by recognizing God's creation and how wonderful he made us. So when your child leaves Coal Valley, our goal would be that yes, they're gonna know their letters and numbers, but that they would feel loved and accepted, that this is a safe place and that they know that God loves them. So I hope we can see you this fall.